Hi everyone, it's Sierra. Thank you all very much for joining me here today. For today's video, I will bring you all along with me to explore the beauties of nature. Even though it is already October, there is still tons of greenery in my area here in the southern United States. It feels as if summer has been holding on to dear life here, as if it doesn't want to end, even though signs of autumn are definitely present. Quiet spots in the woodland and in the bigger forest in my area next to the lake. It is very peaceful to just spend time in nature. Even though I have walked these trails for a couple of years now, it's funny that only recently have I discovered that there is a persimmon tree hidden in a little spot in my local woodland. I walk past it almost every time I am in this area and somehow I have overlooked it. I think it is so beautiful. Most of the persimmons are still not ready to pick, although there have been a couple. Every forest holds different energy to it. It's interesting because some forests feel calm and relaxing. Other forests have a strange feeling to them as if it triggers my fight or flight and I don't really feel inspired or like I want to spend a lot of time there. However, there are definitely favorite spots of mine that I have showed in many different seasons, spring, summer, autumn and winter. And even though I film in these spots many times, I still feel very calm and inspired.
wonder what kind of shell this is. It's empty and I just washed it in the water. I'm assuming it's a clam shell. I'm gonna check online to see if, I don't know, maybe I can identify it. A quick update, I was looking online and this seems to be a mussel and you have to have a license apparently, I think, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm not gonna risk it, I'll just put it back in the water, I just wanted to admire it. This spot seems to be full of them, I don't think I've seen this many, but I haven't really come down here, at least not on this side. Alright, let's really sit back into the water. Yep, just floated right back down there. There's more over here. They're so pretty. Some of them are really big. I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, but... Yeah, we have weird laws here in the U.S. I know in a lot of places, that's not a thing. But here in the United States, you can't always just get stuff from nature. You gotta make sure that it's legal. Even feathers, which is very odd. That one right there, so pretty. Right here to the left. After my long day of exploring the lake and forest, I stopped at the local garden center to pick up some flowers and spring bulbs. I also picked up some goodies. There was a little stand nearby that I was able to stop at. Surprisingly, when I got home and went into my own garden, I noticed that I grew two small onions. Some of you may recognize who's under my fence. It is one of my neighbor's cats. Her name is Honey. She and her kittens live part-time in my backyard. I feel really lucky having them even though sometimes they make a bit of a mess in my yard, I just think that it's so adorable that they spend their time here. And many times when I'm outside, whether it is on the side of my house, my backyard, or the front of my house, or even when I pull into the driveway, I see the kittens or I see my neighbor's cat, Honey. I tend to admire them from afar and not get too close to them. I like to spend time with them. However, that boundary is set between us. I can tell that they are comfortable with me. I just enjoy their company and their presence and I feel like they enjoy mine and even my child as well. That's all for today's video. I appreciate you all watching and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye everyone.